Hello and welcome to Southbridge. So in this video, we will create an Excel to JSON converter. So this page will let us choose an Excel file and then convert it into a JSON string and then we can download it as a JSON file. So let's try this converter. So let's select our Excel file okay and then the data of our Excel file will be loaded in this text area so as you can see we have now a JSON string or a JSON data so it is generated out of the columns and rows from our Excel file so now let's try to click this download JSON file button. Okay, let's view this JSON file. So as you can see, we have now a JSON data in our JSON file. So here in our index.html file, I have created a div. So this div have an input file an input file so we can select an excel file and we have a text area so we can display our json string in this text area and we have a download button so first make sure to reference this read excel file javascript library so i will put the link in the description below so you can copy it we can now use this to convert our Excel file into a JSON data. So first, we have to reference our, our input element. So document that get element by ID. And then let's put the ID of our input element. okay and we will store this in a variable okay now we can use our input variable and have it an event listener so input that input that add event listener and then we'll use the change event so change and then let's provide a function so inside this change event we can now use the object from our library so read xlsx file and we have to supply our uh, input element input the files then let's put zero and then we will use the then method and then inside this method we will provide a function so this function will have a data parameter and next is uh, we have to display first the data so console.log and then data so let's try to view this in our browser so let's choose the excel file and then let's try to view our console so now we can see an array so it is the data from our excel file so next step is to display it in the text area So back in our code, uh, I will declare a variable here, variable i is equal to 0. So next, we will have headers. 
so it is an empty array and next is json underscore object it is also an empty array so next is uh, let's create a loop into our data parameter so data dot map then let's provide an arrow function so let's have a parameter row then index so the purpose of this loop is to assign the headers into the rows so that we can have a key value pair and we can convert this JavaScript object into a JSON string. So first in this loop, if the loop points to the first row in the data object, then we will put that row into our headers array so if then i is equal to zero then headers is equal to the current row and then next is if our loop points to the second row onwards so we have to pair the headers and the row into a new temporary object and we will push that temporary object into our json underscore object okay so let's create our condition here if i is greater than zero then we will create a variable temp so it is basically a temporary object that we can store our header and row and next we will loop so let's create a for loop then let's declare a variable x is equal to zero so if x is lesser than row dot length then let's increment that x variable so inside this for loop we will use our temp object and we will supply the headers and then the the row so that it becomes our key value pair So after the loop then we uh, we will use our json object and then let's push the temp variable Okay so back in our map data.map so after that conditions we will increment our i variable So after we arrange the headers and the rows into a key value pair so we will now put the json string into our uh, text area so let's reference our text area so get element by id and then the id is json dash data then we will use the json dot stringify stringify and then we'll provide the json object and then the next parameter is null and then uh, let's provide an integer too so the purpose of this 
uh, parameter is to have an indentation in our JSON string. So, let's try to view this. So, let's choose our Excel file. And then, now, we can see our data displayed as a JSON format in our text area. And now, uh, let's code the onclick event in this download JSON file button. So, let's reference the button document that get element by id and then the id is dl dash json on click and then the function so first is we will pull the data from our text area so document that get element by id the ID of our text area, which is uh, JSON dash data, and then the value property. Then let's store this in a variable var JSON string, and then let's create a function. So I will just copy this function. It is called uh, download object as JSON. So this function will create an anchor element which we can uh, invoke the click event to have our uh, JSON file. So next, we will use this function. Okay, download object as a JSON and then we will provide our JSON string JSON underscore str and we will provide our file name so uh, let's just use uh, Excel underscore to underscore JSON so let's try our code in our browser so let's choose our excel file and then let's click this download json file button so now we have generated our json file containing the data from our excel file in a json format so I hope you learned something in this video and if you do, please click like and click subscribe to support my small channel. Thank you.